it's so beautiful outside almost perfect I'm here at a school with just a bunch of flat ground, a little two-stair right there that I might skate. I've been doing a lot of kickflips recently because it's finally good weather and I'm just, you know, focusing on my basic skateboarding stuff because you don't want to just not warm up and things like that and I haven't skated in a while. I've been doing a lot of kickflips and I have three tips to make your kickflips instantly better. Okay, let's get right into it for the skateboarding. We're skating over to this tree because there's shade. It's very nice because it's very hot outside. All right, let's hop right into it. The three things that I have learned while doing kickflips for over six years now, and recently I have been reminded of some of these things. A lot of these tips are like things that you kind of already know, but you just forget. It's not like something that's gonna magically make your kickflips look perfect, but keeping these things in mind while you're doing your, your kickflips, is going to make you land them more consistent, better looking, and just better in general. The first one is standing on your toes. And this is a thing that people always say, stand on your toes, blah, 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 blah. You know, you do it for, you know, that session, and you just sort of forget. But whenever, like, you know, I was skating a while, I was just, I couldn't pop it, and I just couldn't do it very well, you know? And it just wasn't working as good as it should be. And I, someone reminded me, hey, stand on your toes. Put your toes down on your, on your back foot, you know? And what this does is it basically cocks your legs and gets it ready for doing the kickflip. So if you're standing like this, you already have the setup for it to just snap it. If you're standing like this, you have to go like that. So there's more range of motion your feet, ha your ankles have to do basically. So if you're standing on your toes already, there's less range of motion and you can snap it a lot quicker. Number two on this list is flicking in the pocket. Your board has a little pocket on the nose, on a little on the edge. And if you flick in that pocket just right, you know, a little on the side and a little out, it will flick it and the board will just do a perfect kickflip. It'll bone it out and everything. And that's how you get the boned out look, is how you flick it. If you flick into the pocket and it's going to push it a little down and it's gonna grab it and make the board do the kickflip motion. So obviously if you've been doing kickflips, you already know, you know, you gotta flick off to the side. But there's a little sweet spot and if you flick in it per just right, it just does a super nice boned out kickflip. And of course, if you're, you know, your shoes messed up, uh, your board's at the end of its life, the pocket will change a little bit, so you gotta adjust as these things happen. If you've been doing kickflips for a while and you haven't changed out your board and your board's nose is all jacked up, you're going to, you know, you're gonna have to flick a little bit differently because there's, the pocket is a different shape now. It's almost not even there anymore. So you'll have to adjust for that. Um, so keep that in mind as well. The third and final thing on this list is keeping your front foot out or like, you know, just extending it and keeping it there for a bit. A lot like the tray flip, you know, you scoop it and you flick and then you catch it with your front foot and your back foot stays back, your front foot's gonna stay out. It's gonna help you make your kickflips look a lot better. It gives it the look of like the boning it out. That's kind of how you get that look is when you flick it, you keep your front foot out and then your back foot is what's jumping up and then catching it. So you don't really need to bring your front foot back until you're about to land. Um, so another thing to keep in mind is while you're doing this, you wanna flick out and you don't wanna just leave it and let it fall. You wanna flick out and keep it up. So you can almost like do the kickflip and think of it just like landing with your back foot and your front foot up in the air, you know, just standing on one foot kind of like go for that but you don't have to really try that just keep your front foot out longer and it will look really cool if you do that and if you combine all of these things together you have a really nice kickflip it's kind of just uh, this isn't like how to do a kickflip it's kind of more of a uh, polishing your kickflips. These things will help your kickflips just be better and stand out from all the other people's kickflips. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys got something out of it and I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you can do kickflips and how long it took you to land them. And if you can't do kickflips, comment down below how long you've been trying them. I'm just going to leave now. So I'll see you guys later.